After months of preparations, the 108th Nigerian Baptist Convention commenced on Saturday, 24th of April 2021, with members in attendance across the country. The convention, which took place for the first time in newly built 37,000 auditorium at the campsite along Lagos Ibadan Expressway, was dedicated by the church leadership. Having been prospered by the Lord and his good hands to give all the grace and power to bring the completion of this auditorium to this stage, we stand in this holy place and before his presence to dedicate this building to him. To the glory of God our Father, from whom comes every good and perfect grief. To the honor of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior, our Redeemer and our King. To the praise of the Holy Spirit, our source of light and life. Amen. The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your hands, O ye gates. Be lifted up, O ancient doors. That the, the King, king of glory should make come in. Who is he, the King, king of glory? The Lord Almighty is the King of glory. Therefore, I. In conjunction with the chairman of the convention and our wives, convey the plan of the dedication of this Baptist International Auditorium and the Baptist International Convention Center today, 24th day of April, 2021, in the presence of the Congregation of God's people. In the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. and God the Holy Spirit. Vice President in charge of finance could not hide his excitement on the stage the campsite has got into, just like the president also narrated the orders his administration had crossed to bequeath this legacy. On behalf of all of us, and the enemies of the Baptist Reading, on behalf of the entire Baptist denomination family, we are expressing our appreciation to this only one God, only one God, who is able to do all things. To Him alone be all the glory. It has been a privilege to serve the people of God. I came here by divine revelation and by divine hand and I serve at his bidding. So his presence in everything has made the difficult job easy. I give him the glory. Though challenging, humanly speaking, but made easy by the power of his presence and by his wisdom. You will see that we have not finished completely, but we have reached over 75% completion of the auditorium. We, we, we trust the Lord that has taken this work this far to help us complete it. Some of the women leaders share their thoughts on the role Christian women play in shaping the nation. We will not stop as parents to pray for them, as parents to continue to encourage them, to, to cancel them, to not give up on them, we will not give up. We continue to show them by example. We continue to plead with them until they see that the way they are living is not proper. We will not abandon them. We visit them not only when they are in nursing school, but even when they are in the university. We pay them visit when they don't know we are coming, and we ensure that they follow the moral values that they have been taught at home. Women Wing has been on for the past 102 years ago. Two, three days ago, we celebrated our 102nd uh, annual convention at uh, Shepherd Baptist Church. And the Baptist women has always been there. 
It is also the convention heralding a new president that will take over from Reverend Dr. Olashu Ayokunle, who also doubles as president of Christian Association of Nigeria. It is day two. Against the expectation of having vice president on the final day, Professor Yemi Yoshibajo, out of his tight schedule, decided to grace the occasion. Typical of Reverend Dr. Samson Ayokunle, where he always speaks truth to power, chose not to spare his guest, but assured him of moral and spiritual support. We know that you will have on your shoulders very intimidating assignments. And at this trying time, I have never seen a time most trying in the nation than this one. Evil men are just rising everywhere. Up to now, we don't know who really offended them. But they are just rising with the spirit of wickedness, killing, maiming, vandalizing, troubling the entire nation. The Lord spoke to me and said that they are the Egyptians of our time. Are the Egyptians perished in the sea for stubbornness? The stubborn one among them who will not repent will drown in the ocean of God's wrath in the name of Jesus. He's living with his reputation unblemished. He's living, he's living at a point where he is also one of the most respected leaders of the Christian faith in Nigeria. And there are more victories ahead. So I join the members of the Baptist family in Nigeria and, the, and worldwide and all the children of God to congratulate this man of exceptional character, a man of great wisdom, great achievement. There is a promise of God that this nation, this nation Nigeria, will prosper. That this nation will be the epicenter of the outstanding economic and scientific developments of the 21st century that we will create here in this country an oasis of peace, prosperity, and security such as has never been seen before on this continent and beyond. Another major event was a valedictory and commendation service for the retiring President Reverend Samson Ayokuli. The atmosphere was ecstatic as the clergyman thanked God for the leadership achievements recorded and leaving office a fulfilled man. family thank you for your support thank you for coming god bless you richly in jesus name During the course of the validatory service was the arrival of some prominent Nigerian top political office holders, including former President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Olushegu Obasanjo, Yugo State Governor Dabo Abiodun, Oyo State Governor Sheyi Makinde, the Senator representing Adamawa North Senatorial District Senator Ishako Abo, some top clergymen and traditional rulers who have gathered to celebrate the outgoing president on his 10 years of excellent service to the Baptist Convention. Congratulations. <laughs> 
Doctor, Reverend, we thank God for your life. You have come, you have seen, and you have planted, and the plant and what you have planted is growing in your own eyes. I and my brothers felicitate with you and your dear family, and we wish you well. My prayer is that God will give you renewed energy because you are at the end of one assignment and at the beginning of another. I'm particularly happy about the progress that the Baptist Convention is making in Nigeria. 1964, when we celebrated 50. 50th anniversary of the Baptist Convention. It was a big thing. Then we celebrated the centenary. A bigger thing. Today we are celebrating 108. It's yet a bigger thing. And I will say to all family, to all Baptist family, Baptist Convention family, that we should work as hard, as cooperatively with the incoming President, Reverend Dr. Akanji. Dr. Adeni, you are a focused, consistent, dedicated, upright, a moral compass. You just been appointed an ambassador for gender justice. That speaks volumes. You are indeed, you are indeed. A, a shining example of a shepherd of God. I want to once again congratulate you. And I want, by the same vein, congratulate the incoming president, Reverend Dr. Israel Akonji. I pray that the God Almighty will grant him the wisdom and other wherewithal for a successful tenure. Once again, I want to congratulate the entire Nigerian Baptist family on the successful hosting of this 108th session of the Nigerian Baptist Convention. So after serving as the president of the Nigerian Baptist Convention for 10 years, well, you know, uh, for us politicians, you can only have first term and then second term, totally eight years, and then you have to go. But for him, he served for 10 years. So excellence is closely related to completeness. And this is linked to that number 10. And Reverend Ayokule has rendered excellent service to the Baptist Convention. So I want to congratulate you on the 
achievement. And I do this on behalf of myself, my family, the government, and the good people of Oyo State. Well, just as uh, you have achieved excellence in service here, and I can see that you are not tired, and you are returning back to Ibadan shortly, we want you to continue to be of service to our country and to our state. They also spoke on the rules of the church in tackling the challenges the country is faced with. The role of the church is simple. The Lord is our shepherd. We shall not want the book of Psalm 23. We'll continue to pray and then we'll continue to be careful. Somebody was making a statement. He said, whatever thing you see, mention. Don't keep quiet. If you suspect anything, let people in the authority know and then we'll continue to pray. In the contemporary Nigeria of today, the church, more especially the Baptists, and indeed the church generally, has a big role to play. Number one, in speaking the truth in love to people in authority. Nigeria is facing its worst security and indeed economic crisis since the Nigerian Civil War. We have never had this bad. It is so bad. It is so bad. The security situation in the country is, 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 is the worst since the civil war of Nigeria. The church have to pray, support the leaders, and at the same time, speak to leaders. And I, and I, I am calling on the, on the church to, to call leaders to action. I think the leadership in the country have to wake up. There were a series of other celebration activities, praising worship, testimonies, seed offering, scripture reading and message, and ministrations. <laughs> The last day of the convention, as early as 7 a.m. on Thursday, April 29, 2021, started off with the Royal Ambassador's Century Parade as part of the activities to end the convention and the pulling out of the outgoing president. As our special squads are planning to form up their bags for this centenary, we are giving birth to. And it is a great honor to see them celebrate the centenary celebration. Reverend Ayokuli received the paraders in warm appreciation. We celebrate you. We honor your seal, your passion for the kingdom of Christ. And we pray that you will continue to build it in the midst of the challenges that we are having. In the name of the Lord, we declare by the authority of the risen Christ that the church will prevail and Nigeria will prevail. Against insurgency, against banditry, against kidnapping, and all forms of the insecurity that we have today, we are going to prevail in the name of the Lord. After the parade, it's back to the convention hall where the day sessions kicked off with exhortation and ministrations with Reverend Dr. Paul Jemfa giving a charge on faith practicing. Possessing your possessions by faith. Joshua took faith. Number three, possessing your possession through positive confession. That don't things you should be saying about your life. Don't say it again. Say something positive. There were also activities like discussion of all reports, resolutions and communique, awards and recognition. Towards the evening section was the entrance of the new president, Reverend Dr. Israel Adelani Akonji, who was received by the overjoyed congregation.
While at the altar with his new team of administration, the ex-president gave his admonitions and prayers. Beloved, do not take this grace in vain. Do not take any action without well consulting God. What God has used to help me is not about what I've taught myself, but what I will take to this throne room and say, God, deliver me from error. Thank you for counting this one's worthy. Be glorified, eternal Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. We are glad that there are workers with you. That assures us that you will not abandon them. You will not leave them alone at the assignment. Therefore, living Father, I pray, as you cause your spirit to enter Saul, immediately he was anointed king. Let your spirit overwhelmingly come upon these ones in the name of Jesus. After the admonition comes the new president's acceptance speech. Continuity. As a people who have been on ground for over a century, almost two centuries, so much ground has been captured for the kingdom of God. I am not called to be a founder of a denomination, but to lead a family founded one to higher grounds for God's greater glory. For this reason, there will be a lot of things that must continue. In fact, there are some things which might need to be revived in order to continue them. In view of this, I hereby accept the call of God to serve as the president of our great Nigerian Baptist Convention in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Towards the ending of the convention, some of the parishioners and senior pastors spoke on their take-home messages about the success of the convention, what they wish for the former president, and the advice for the new administration. As we are rejoicing and celebrating for the first time here, indeed it's very marvelous, and we thank God for that. The lessons we have learned is one, to be focused in anything we are doing, then to work with, to work towards it assiduously, and to know that our uh, the eternal home is what we should aspire to get to. As we are serving God and running the race, at the same time there is another joy over there, even after the race. We have heard the message that we should continue to move forward. We have a race, and the race is to make heaven. That is the ultimate. I wish the outgoing president, in person of Reverend Doctor. Samson Olashupo Adeniyi Ayokunle, the best in life. He should know that though he is living office, he carries the anointing that has not expired. So he should continue doing the work of ministry. My advice for the man whom the Lord has chosen for us this time, Dr. Israel Adelani Akonji, is for him to be focused, to know who has brought him into this office and to face him squarely, and to remember he will give account to him. This is the first time in the history of the Nigeria Baptist Convention that we are having a national annual convention in session in a, in a property that we own ourselves, called a camp. This is the first time. Uh, so it is a success because we were able to get the structure ready before the session. Uh, delegates arrive here safely. We are thinking uh, we will not be able to register up to 5,000 delegates. We have more than 5,000 delegates, uh, about 5,000 delegates registered. And we have more than 5,000 people gathered here. As the new era of leadership begins for Baptist family, it is hoped that maximum cooperation will be given, especially as the convention goes through another phase of development.